Because we know this morning everything is by Jesus. Everything is Jesus. I can stand here and I can just reclaim everything. Because I know one day, one day, when this world was in sin, we all had sin. He died upon Carol Falls yes, yes, yes. for my sins and your sins. Amen. Oh, he gave his side to him. The swore with blood and water came out. Yes, yes. He gave his head to some throne. Wrong. But he gave his own head and put it in the lamb. He died. He gave up the ghost. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank you, they say they laid him in a tomb, a Bible tomb. For three long days, three days, three nights. Yes. But it said all of that Sunday morning. I don't know what time it was. But it said he got up. One feet on land, one feet on water. He said, oh, all power in heaven is given to me. Yes. Thank you. So as he got up this morning, I know I can get up. You can get up. Because he got up for us. Yes. And wow. I feel like I got up this morning because he woke me up. On time. Because when he had put me into a trap while sleeping, I slept all night long. But when he touched me this morning, this old body began to rock and move. I had moving in it. And then he could stand up. Stripped all the way around. I got up. And as I was getting up, I was saying thank you. Thank you. I said thank, thank you for another day. Yes, yes, yes. I know that you're still on the throne. Yes. And he told me, he said, get up. Put some gold. Take a shower. Wipe your face. Get yourself ready. Yes. Because I will listen to his voice. Yes, Lord. And as I got up, I made my way to the kitchen. I fed myself. But then I had my mind on the house of prayer. Yes. And I told him, I said, you give me a traveling grace there. I'll get there. Yes. You gave me a traveling grace. Yes. And when I got here, I walked in the door. Right. I see my sisters and brothers. Yes. And I felt like saying, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Because he told us about two or three intention and agree yes. that he didn't yes. miss. Yes. And we all just said, thank you. Thank you. We want to say thank you. Thank you. So we come this morning right. to lift up that holy name. Yes, 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 to give it all the praise. Yes. We come this morning yes. praying for our pastor. Yes. Put him down there so he'll bring a word today. Yes. Someone will come running what they need to do yes. to be saved. Yes. He said, give your hand to him, but give your heart to God. Yes. And if you get on this race, you'll run this race. Right. He told her to run with patience. Mm -hmm. Don't get in a hurry. Well, well. So this morning, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I pray for those that sick, shut in, white fear room, nurse at home, wherever they are. Right. Touch and heal that body. Yes, yes. We pray for those in Berea, going through Berea. Yes, yes, yes. Because he told us that we've been in for a night. Yes. But what God, God is going to do it. He yes. said, yes. one day, one day, I'm going to walk for all the tears. Yes. 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 For the Lord, we come. Yes. For no sorrow. Yes. We come to lift up that holy name. Yes. And say, thank you. Thank you. We ask you to look on our country. Look on those incarcerated in jail. Yes. Look on our young people. Yes, Lord. So much is going on. Yes. So much is wrong. Yes. But we are children of God. He told us to pray for one another. Yes. To love one another. Yes. And if we do that, everything will be all right. Yes. So we pray for all members. We pray for our pastors. Yes. We pray for each and every family. Yes. That he would continue to move us yes. forward. Turn to love one another. We ought to just say thank you. Thank you. We ought to say thank you. Thank you. Because if it hadn't been for him, what would we be? Yes. See, because one of these old days, one of these old days, yes. this race is going to be finished. Yes. Hallelujah. There'll be no more rising. Yes. There'll be no more hymn books, no more songs. Yes. 
I want to hear him say it in that number. Yes, yes. No man. God says, see, no man. That's yeah. right. But when I get to jail, I know he'll be there waiting on me. Yes. He's going to help me across. We ought to be glad to say thank you. Thank you. You've been good to him, Father. You've been good to him. Oh! 
God is awesome. Even he, when you know him, he prepares you for situations. And I had several calls wondering, was I coming to church? I couldn't stay home. Because God is my strength. And a lot of times we want to have pity parties. But you get to learn to turn pity into praise. Because praise is what I do even when I'm going through. And I just want to say that my mom was my mom and she was Nora's no, no mom. And I thank God for Nora because Nora was right there with her. It was hard sometimes. But God gave us the strength. And you know what? I just want to say that I thank you for your prayers. Because your prayers got me this far. Pastor, I thank you for your support. Because your support got me this far. You know, back in the day, we used to put reefs on the door.
and tell the Lord thank you. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah to this. God has been good in spite of. I wish I had somebody this morning.
the promotion. Tell your neighbor, you've got to go through something in order to get to something. Amen. Father, we bless you, God, this morning. We are asking, God, that you would visit us. Pray, God, that your special anointing will fall fresh upon us. Speak, God, on our behalf. Father, we need a ring of word this morning. Yes, yes, yes. You know the condition of your people. Hallelujah. So God, I pray today that I yield to your spirit. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Send me a clean vessel, God. And I pray, God, we get glory from what comes from these clay lips. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Yes, Lord. And we all said, Amen. Amen. King, the preparation before the promotion. It is amazing to me how there are some people who the only time they seek God is when they need something from God. Amen. The don't get quiet on me this morning. Sometimes, some people, the only time you ever hear God mention when there is a need connected to it. I wish I had some help in here. Some people never talk about how good God is while they're going through their storm. So some people never talk about the goodness of the Lord while they're going through the valley of the shadow of death. But most people, when they talk about God, it's because they are needing something from God. And this is a people who the only time you see them in fellowship is when their lives are being turned upside down. Some folk only come to church, yeah, when there are problems in their life. I wish I had somebody in here this morning. Everybody does not press their way into worship on a Sunday basis just because they love the Lord. Some people only come out of the need of something from God. When, when my life time they show up for worship is when they need something or their life is being turned upside down. But I found out, watch this, write this down, that it's hard to get in shape spiritually if you only work out on Sunday. You, you, you can't get stronger uh, by only going to the gym once a year. And you got to go every day. And it's the same thing in the church. You got to say in your word every day. You got to pray every day. You need to fast every once in a while. If you ever going to get stronger one Sunday a month ain't going to do it. I don't know who this is for, but when you've been talking to God before the storm, you have peace yeah. in the storm. Uh -huh. I wish I had some praying people in here that understand that yeah, my praying does not keep me from going through, but it helps me while I'm going through to be stay rooted and grounded. Anybody in the room today ever had a prayer life that helped you get through your problems? So it is in 2 Samuel 22 and 33, it is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way uh, secure. So I have a word for someone who has felt the pressure of giving up. When you don't feel like praying, uh, uh, there's force it, it says, uh, because something is also forcing you uh, not to pray. Whenever you don't feel like praying, uh, that's when you have to force yourself to pray, uh, because there's always something uh, that's trying to stop you uh, from praying. Uh, the reason why the enemy Oh, 
No one can block you. And because you have been born with a purpose, you have an assignment because there is a calling on your life. And so you're not just filling up space, but you are a person of destiny. You wonder why God keeps bringing you through. You wonder why God keeps anointing you. You wonder why God's hand of protection is on your life. It's because you were born with a destiny inside. And God will protect you and see it through. Okay, let me hurry up. First one is, Job desired to appear before God. Right. Job, somebody said Job had some problems. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody in the room ever had some problems that you talked to God? Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And it seemed like God just didn't talk back to you. You've you been going through hell and you start saying, God, don't you see what I'm going through? Don't you see what I'm dealing with? I need your help right now. Anybody in the room that was felt like that? Here it is, Job. The Bible said Job was an upright man. He eschewed evil. That means he lived a righteous life. But yet, here it is. God allowed him to go through something. And so Job is trying to understand. If I've been living right, why? Anybody in the room ever felt like that? Yeah. Felt like the more I tried to live right, the more hell I ended up going through. Y'all ain't gonna hear me this morning. Oh. Job says in verse 2, the New English translation, even today, my complaint is still bitter. The end that will make you bitter if you're not careful. Yes, Lord. I wish I had some help in here. He said, my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy despite my growth. So what Job is saying, God's hand is heavy on me. In spite of what I'm going through, it just seems like the hand won't bring me out of what I'm in. But it keeps on holding me down. I have a word for you today. God does not give us what we can handle. But God helps us handle what he gives us. Yes. Songwriter said, I want to be tried by fire, purified. Oh, God, you take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. The Bible said, so do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. You need to preserve so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. It's, it's vital to us that we stay on the battlefield. It's vital to us that we, not, not, that we don't give up while we're going through our storm. It's vital to us that we keep our eyes on the prize. Anybody in the room today understand that it's vital to us that we seek God while we're going through he said the just shall live by faith. So Job had a desire to appear before God because of what he was going through. But the second thing I want you to see is Job's confidence in the midst of despair. The psalmist said in Psalms 123 and 3, take control of what I say. O oh Lord and God, my lips. Anybody in the room ever needed God to guard your mouth? Yeah. So you wouldn't say the wrong thing. Yeah. Because when you're going through something, you, yeah, you're vulnerable to speak the wrong thing. But I came to tell you that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And sometimes you gotta monitor what you say. Because what you say has a way of manifesting in your life. So the sermon says, what I'm going through, my lips. I know I'm not the only one who can say I survived too many storms to be bothered by a few raindrops. That's why Psalms 32 and 8 says I will guide you along the best path for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. 
So even if the answer is not what I want, I came to tell you that God is still good. Job says in verse 10, but he know it the way that I take. In other words, the way means the journey that I'm on. Anybody in here know that God knows your journey? Because he's the one ordering yourself. Ah, he knows the way that I take. And the way take, the word take means, ah, he, he's taking me a certain destination. And when he has tried me, and the word tried me, when he's proved me, because he's examined I shall come forth. The word forth means I will come out of what I mean. Anybody in here understand that there's a process before the promotion. God will bring you through everything that you're going through. God has a purpose and a plan. Anybody in here understand that I'm going
Can I tell you something? You ain't got to tell them about your problem. Because you already know. Job said, I was looking for him. And I couldn't find him. Went up north, went up south, east and west. Everywhere I went, couldn't find him. Have you ever felt like that? Like no matter where you look for God, you can't find him. But Job came to his senses because he understood that he knows the path that I'm on. And when he has finished taking me through, he gonna bring me out better than how I went in. Job seemed to understand that even though I couldn't find him while I was going through Deacon Strata, I found out I came out of only because he was with me. Oh God, I bless your name. Everything that you have come through, even though you couldn't see God, sometimes you couldn't feel God. Just know that you survived because of God. Come on, put your hands together. Bless the name of the Lord. The doors of the church are open. You come by letter, Christian experience.
Sister Simmons in prayer in the passing of her brother, Amen. and also Brother Terry and Sister Nora in the passing of their mother. I know you've been hearing that all morning, but we want to keep them in prayer. Amen? Amen. The youth ministry, they're giving out backpacks in the vestibule after service. Amen? Amen. So if you have youth, they need a backpack, please pick up one in the vestibule. If not, see Sister Lyons. Amen? Amen. Amen. We always want to remember all of our sick and our shut-in members. And Deacon Barry, on last Sunday, we acknowledged all of those August birthdays. And I was told afterwards that you celebrated the birthday on August 9th. <laughs> oh, okay. That's <laughs> like you don't know what I'm talking about, but we just want to say happy birthday to you as well. Amen. As always, we like to remember all of our sick and our shut-in members. Sister Sandra Jones, Sister Jackie Spears, Sister Johnny Martin. And we're so, so happy to see Sister Linda Watkins with us today. Amen. Sister Mary Banks, Sister Gladys Henderson, Sister Mary Parks Madison, Sister Antoinette Cole, Sister Shelby Archie, Brother Otis Jackson, and Sister R Renee McLeod. Please continue to pray for all of our sick and shut-in members, even if I didn't call their names and you know who they are. Please remember them in your quiet time, in your prayer time. Amen? Amen. Thank you, and have a blessed week. Amen. 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 Thank God. I've always called her Sister Sellers, even though that's her maiden name. Amen. 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 Sister Tierra. Thank God to have both of them here. Amen. Tierra graduated from high school, and we will be honoring her on next Sunday. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's so good to see all of you, amen. amen. Uh, Mother Phil just celebrated her birthday. Oh, just about a few days ago, right? What was Friday. it? Huh? Friday. Friday, amen. amen. How old did you turn? How young did you turn? <laughs> Say, how young did you turn? Eight to five. Eight to five. Amen. 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 It's good to have our very own Brother Domingo back. Travel some of the path that we traveled. And so this morning, I'm going to put him to the test. I go. I'm a Dasi, my brother. That means thank you. Amen. He just got back here in the white last Sunday uh, from Ghana as well. Amen. 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 And Ghana, it is an experience that we all should someday uh, have the opportunity to experience. Amen. Amen. I'm pretty sure he got plenty of stories he can tell you as well. Amen. Amen. Let's not forget this afternoon. Amen. We're going to start on time so we can get out of here on time. Right. Deacons, let's start at 4 o'clock. Devotion, choir singer, A, a B, if they feel like it. Right into the word. Amen. 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 So we're going to start on time so we can get out of here on time. Amen. All right, come on, let's stand. Get your gift in your hand. Certainly, let's remember all of our loved ones who are on the second side of the list. Keep them lifted. All bereaved family, because at this point, when you look around the bedroom, somebody. And so let's keep each and every one of us lifted up. Certainly be praying for us as descendants of the Terry and Sister Nora and their families. Amen, somebody. Sometimes when God strengthens people, it makes things look so easy and it makes it seem like they're unbothered by what they're going through. All the time, it's not their strength, but it's God's strength. For 
he said, my grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in your time to witness. Amen. So Scott, it's always it's good to see you back there. Everything that's done will be pleasing in our sight. It's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. 